Hi guys, thanks for joining us again on another episode of Music in Marriage. My name is Nikita, I am your host and this is my co-host. I'm like Red Square and we're there one more time. You don't know another brand new episode of the Music and Marriage podcast. And guess what? Today we celebrate our 100th episode. <laughs> yeah, you know, so excited. We do give thanks and... I just want to say, baby, we have, um, I think we have outdid ourselves so far and we will continue to outdo ourselves with this podcast. Congratulations to you on all the hard work that you have put in and yeah, Music and Marriage podcast, we're here to stay, you know what I mean? Yes, cheers, couldn't have said it better. Mm. Yes. So... Yeah, give thanks for joining us for another episode of a Music and Marriage podcast. Um, let's talk. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope that this podcast is reaching you in good health and in good spirits. Yes, and as usual, before we move forward, we have to big up our sponsors. Simply Rose Craft, if you need your home decor, if you need your door signs, door wreaths, anything that has to do with decorations indoor or outdoor check in with simply rose craft um, she has her website www.simplyrosecraft.com or she's on instagram at simply rose craft all right so make sure you check her out also make sure you guys shop nikki glitz cosmetics for all your loose glitters and your palettes Tonight, I am also wearing a shade from Nikki Glitz Cosmetic line. So make sure you guys go over to her website, NikkiGlitzCosmetic.com, and shop with our code MMP22 to get your 10% discount off your order. And just make sure, you know, let them know that Music and Mary sent you guys. Yeah, man, most definitely, most definitely. So, how are you feeling? 100 episodes. I feel amazing. Yeah. I'm happy. Um, I'm just proud of what we've you know, what we've built and how far we've come throughout, you know, from 2019 with having issues within our marriage to this present day now. And I must say I'm happier. Um, we have a healthier relationship. We have a healthier marriage. We have a stronger foundation. Um, it's just amazing, like just to think about everything that we've been through from the start of the podcast to now, just to even like think of how I don't even remember honestly how I really sat there and really thought of this yeah concept, but I know we were going through something, and you know it was it was rough, and we wanted to figure it out, and we wanted to make it work, and it's funny because this morning. Coming off the road, we went on the road to go take care of some things and take the kids to school. And there was a thing that piqued my interest on the radio um, that said there have been 840 divorces filed since the beginning of 2022. Mm -hmm. In Jamaica? In Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So 840 applications have been um, requested or, or filled out or submitted for divorce in Jamaica since the beginning of this year. So I definitely want to say big up our damn selves because we're yeah. still here and we're still trying to make it work and we're still trying to understand each other. And it's not easy. Sometimes they get frustrating. I know on both ends, um, you know, but we, we know what it is that we have and we appreciate what we have. And, you know, I just thank you so much for even agreeing to... <laughs> Yeah, man, most the, definitely. <laughs> agreeing to the whole concept of the show because I know that you're a very private person. Anyone that knows you knows that you're a very private person. So you don't really, you know, divulge certain personal details, you know, especially and to do it to the world, you know, because we don't know who's really watching the podcast because we are being seen all over the world. That's the next thing I'll shout out to. But, you know, we just... 
it's 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 important to have that support and you gave me that and that was the first step in me knowing that you wanted to make a change and you wanted this to work so give thanks to you and i love you and i thank you no problem um, we love you too it's been it's been quite a a nice look a journey a nice journey i can't lie nice journey to so 100 go ahead you can say something yeah it's a nice journey to 100 you know um and and the people that has been watching us you know supporting you know you should be celebrating as well yes you know um we couldn't really have i mean at the end of the day the audience is very important you mm-hmm. know um the listeners you know the people that talk with us on instagram us the feedback. people that talk with us on on youtube, YouTube. you know give us your, your comments the people that like the videos mm-hmm. you know even the people that dislike the videos you know what i mean like all everybody mm-hmm. contributed to you know us that motivation that that extra motivation that is needed sometimes mm-hmm. when you're doing stuff like this you know for for no so well then you know people are supporting people are paying attention people mm-hmm. are watching and and people are taking note mm-hmm. of what we are doing and people appreciate you know the you know the podcast in in every sense you know and um yeah man we give thanks for 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 each and every one of you that has been supporting yes the podcast yes. And in any way that you have supported this podcast whether it's tuning in whether it's merch whether it's the cash app whatever it is like in, on every level whether it's social media yeah. you know we just give thanks for all of the support because i'm telling you like it's been amazing like the the reception that we've received yeah, man. throughout the last two years since we've started this podcast <clears throat> I would say it's been like overwhelming Definitely. because a lot of people who I don't even like, I didn't even think are watching or listening. They're watching and listening. You get what I'm saying? Most definitely. So it's like, it's just to show that our relationship is not just, or not just us, but you know, relationship in general, like it's something that we should be more open with each other and be able to converse and, you know, share stories and share, you know, ideas and, information and how we are able to overcome certain things and you know how we stood firm in certain times you know like it's important to have that i wouldn't say motivation but to have someone to look at to say okay well they're going through the same thing like me yeah you know like they feel the same struggles because you know a lot of people like to put on this facade as if their relationship is perfect they don't have Mm -hmm. any issues they're great you know and then when the doors are closed it's like hell and high waters is tumble down on their head and they don't know how to survive or how to even make it out. So it's like what we're doing is very difficult. I would say in the beginning it was it was type, you know, it was kind of hard <clears throat> being that when we started the podcast, we were mostly discussing our personal issues and our personal situations that we went through, you yeah. know. So it was it was a bit um nerve wracking at times you know i'm surprised i didn't i haven't cried yet on any episode yeah but you know because i'm very emotional and so it's it's just therapeutic for me and that's what we needed in the time when we started this podcast and i'm just happy that we're able to be um you know here still to help other individuals other couples because we're not only here trying to help you know couples we are individuals as you know well and we have our own feelings towards something and if we have an individual that's single that's trying to get into a relationship or thinking about it you know yeah we might have some you know type of insight on certain things of to stay clear of you know certain things to be alert red flags you know things like that of topics that we've discussed um but it's just it's just amazing we even got a cake yeah, like <laughs> on that extra you should definitely cut the cake. <laughs> oh yes we should um <clears throat> Hold on. Okay. So. To 100 episode. To 100 episode. (laughs) Yes. To 100 episode and many more. Many, many, Um, many more. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, So you know it's our case, so we never really got to do all this extraness. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. 
Thank you, babe. So yeah. So what are we talking about today? Um, just a journey. It's a journey. Yeah. Okay. Like I just wanted to be nice and short and simple. We just discussed the journey. Yeah. You know how we felt was our favorite episode. What so, was your favorite episode? Um <laughs> I have a few, Mm -hmm. but I would say um, step parents. Step parents. Because it's something that I'm firm about. Like that's something that that's like my exit if it's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I'm just like. But it was a good episode for me in that sense because a lot of people didn't really understand. So what is your problem with being a step parent, really? I don't have a problem with being a step parent, but the parent parent situation, I can't. I'm gonna take make up the tolerance for can deal with that. The baby mother situation. Okay. So it's not necessarily the child. But it's the not baby necessarily mother. the so child. So suppose the baby mother, I work with the situation and and everything cool. And she's respectful and everything is good. Mm. Then maybe that's a different story. But you rarely find that. Rarely find that. Females always, like, for the most part, they don't know how to act. They're always trying to come out of pocket for some strange reason. They're trying to prove a point. Mm-hmm. And I don't got time for it. Wiping mustache. I don't got time for it. So that's why I said when it comes to the stepchild thing, like, step parent, I can't because I don't want to have to deal with that mm-hmm. dynamic of the disrespect or the arguing or the unnecessary beefs. Like, I don't, that's not my thing. Okay. So that's my that's one of my favorite episodes. My least favorite episode, um, I would say at least I don't think I have a least favorite episode. I like all of the episodes. I don't still. think I have a least favorite episode. I think the episode that I enjoyed the most mm-hmm. was probably um the one with Ras Ajay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is one of my top fives. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my top fives because the stories in that episode was definitely, if y'all didn't get to see that episode, make sure you check it out. Um, That episode was real funny. Very, very funny. Um, Very, The stories that he told, yeah, yeah, his life is very festive, boy, when it comes to certain (laughs) things. (laughs) Yeah. But it was definitely a good episode. Um, I really enjoyed that. All of our guests that we've um, had throughout the seasons. um, It was really good. Really, really good. First... we had um we had Warrior King and we his wife. We had Warrior King and Leslie Ann. Shout yeah. out to y'all, big up yourself. Thank yeah, you guys for coming through. Most definitely. We have Yeza. We had Yeza. We had Mr. Pepper. Um, Egypt. Yeah, I really loved Egypt. Yeah, Egypt, um, her energy is just story so... as well. Yes. Um, yeah. what was it? Utah. Utah. Where she's from? Yeah. Utah. Strange, like you see, it's either Utah, see, no, it's Utah it's or Colorado, Utah. one of them country, one, one of them states up there yeah. in the Midwest, Midwest where you don't really state. see much of our kind there. You know, that was real mm-hmm. interesting to see how you know she was raised and how humble she is, and you know, just yeah. you know, just a nice and cool. Ended up in Jamaica, exactly. Ended up living reggae, in Jamaica and doing reggae music, like yeah. the journey of her life, and you know, the transitions, and you know. Yeah. The, the experiences that she's, you know, probably, you know, went through, like, it's amazing to just think about. Yeah, man. Um, so big up yourself, AJ. We had Arville and Shelly expression. Arville and Shelly on um, separate episodes. On separate episodes, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, who else we've had? <coughs> we had Esco Levi. Esco Levi was a really good um, one as well. Big up all of the people I mean, in Canada, in Canada that Canada, yes. actually all supported the Canadian podcast. Massive. We, we actually got a lot of um, hits. And, and new, you know, viewers, fans, if you want to call them that, from Canada because of that episode. Um, episode. Yeah. You know, um, Esco Levi, if you don't know his music, you need to check him out. Yes. He's one of the biggest reggae artists over there in Canada. Mm-hmm. He's, he's, he has his, you know, like how they have the Hollywood star of fame or walk of he fame. Has he has Canada. his own thing in Canada, in the Canadian walk of fame or star of fame or whatever they call it over there mm-hmm. you know so make sure so to check out esco levi really really good reggae artist as well seen yeah man I'm give thanks think who else we've had. that episode was a re- was a really good one as well like all of our guests like i feel like they brought something to the episode yeah and Most they definitely. gave like an a addition onto whatever that we brought because you know 
we have our audience and they want to hear our opinion and our views. Yes. But when we have artists that come here and entertainers that come here and, you know, they're intelligent beyond the music and their craft, you know, yeah. they can be able to hold a conversation and be able to reason with you, not only just about their music, yeah. but just about life and, you know, situations that we all go yeah, because through. Because some, some entertainers don't want to go personal. Yeah, but some so you find that the ones that do come and go personal, we have to commend them for that. Exactly, because as I said before, what we're doing is not something that is, is for the lighthearted yeah. or something for the weak soul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> if you're stubborn or strong, certain way, you can't really do what it yeah. is that we're Depending doing. Depending upon the topic that we, 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 we're discussing. We come up with exactly. Time. And, you know, we shout out all of our guests because you guys came not knowing the topic that we are going to discuss. Yeah. And you guys just came and you guys ran with it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just didn't worry about. What was gonna be asked? You yeah. just enjoy the energy was free. Exactly, enjoyed the reason and the energy mm-hmm. was just right. And we just give thanks for you know your you guys receiving yeah. and you know accepting our invitation. Most definitely. Um, I think we had someone else. Like I feel like I'm missing somebody. Let me see. Um, Ras Ajay. Ras Ajay. Uh, we mentioned Bill. him first. We had. Um, I feel Barakim. like I'm missing somebody. We had. Um, yes, uh, as they say. Um, Mr. Pepper. We had Mr. Pepper as well. Um, mm. I feel like we're missing somebody. And please, if we're missing you, don't take it personal. Like yeah. dead ass. Like I'm just like having a brain freeze right now. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> but shout out to everybody that you know continue to support us. We've been doing this for two years now. Yes. And it's been quite a a journey. Definitely. Um, we've had discussions with people that we don't know. We've met a lot of people. Ashley, Ashley came. Ashley, as well. yes, yes, Ashley. Ashley. As well. How mm-hmm. can I forget? She's family too. Yes, <laughs> oh my goodness, Ashley. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I think that was one of my all-time favorite episode yeah. out of the whole hundred. Yeah. I think that was probably number because it's, two. Because we spoke about mental, mental health. health, and I feel and like health. that we we went to a even deeper vulnerable mm-hmm. space. Definitely. And I feel like that allowed us to just be true in our sense and just be honest with who we are and, you know, our struggles and, you know, just letting others know that it's And Ashley okay. came and she opened up with us. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, we appreciate that so mm-hmm. much because that's not something that, especially in our society in Jamaica, yeah. that's not something that people really do much. You know, people don't want to discuss things like that because when you're saying mad and for even me. That was a very personal episode because I spoke of, you know, my own struggles with, mm-hmm. you know, depression, you know. So it's it's definitely <clears throat> it was a great episode, but not lie. Definitely. Like all of these episodes, I feel like every single episode that we've done, some of them are controversial. Some of them are, you know, just mixy. Yeah. Some of them are just for the, you know, the, the kicks and giggles of it. Yeah. But we've had real all of them had discussions. Yeah. Exactly. With. Even if it was a mixy topic, we still had a, a message in the end and or in the whole yeah. discussion there. Definitely. You know, it wasn't just carelessness and that was that. You know what I'm saying? And Definitely. I think that's what people started to respect about this podcast. Yeah. That we were honest and we so were too. vulnerable. And we spoke our truth and you know, it wasn't done with the thought of, okay, we're going to be talked about or we're going to be shamed or people are going to look at us funny. Mm-hmm. It was solely done out of us trying to make sure that we are fixing ourselves first. And then so. in in term, if we can help others in that process of what we're doing with having the cameras on and just being able to discuss what we do, you know, and whatever issues that we're going through, you know, I feel like it's, you know. Yeah, man. So you think it was it is worth it so far? Has it been of worth course. it? Of course. Of course. Would you do anything differently? Um <laughs> In certain situations maybe I think I would have called names mm-hmm. and just made it a bit more personal because I see a lot of situations, a lot of topics that we've discussed where people who supposed to take it up, take it up. Do you get what I mean? Okay. Like you're taking personal to something or you feel like I'm directing a topic towards you, but the topic is just a general thing of what we go. Hey, say it to when you talk to you the camera. But I've had someone 
you know, say to me, like, what's that topic about me? And I'm like, about you? Like, I'm not even thinking about you that, and ain't even that serious, but, you know, when I sit there and think back about, like, conversations that we've had, yeah. maybe I could understand or see how you might feel that way, but just understand, like, whatever we discuss on this podcast, it's 80% of our situations or things that we've gone through are things that we see on social media, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or see on the blogs and stuff like that. It's never anything about any one specific person. So that's what I feel like. If I thought about it more then I feel like I would have called names in certain situations mm -hmm. just to make sure that it's clarity clear, is their clarity is there, mm -hmm. so that nobody don't take offense to it and feel like, oh, I'm throwing shade or anything like that. But anybody who knows me like knows that I'm a very straightforward person. I'm going to tell you what it is and how I feel so but yeah the journey has been amazing oh also throughout the two years that we've been doing this we've had two um television appearances yeah um tvj in jamaica and cvm sunrise in jamaica as well they're also like if you're an american you're overseas um and you're familiar with like good morning america and shows like that that's pretty much like what it is for jamaica like um yeah. Good morning smile. shows. Yeah, morning shows. Smile Jamaica and CVM Sunrise. So um, we've been also um, featured on the radio on a weekly basis for about four or five months now. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Um, on Best FM Best in FM. Jamaica. Best FM. Um, with Kamisha B on the Reset program. We have our 15 minute slot with her on Tuesdays yes. um, where we discuss um, the episode that's going to be released that week. And, you know, to give like a little insight and for the viewers who aren't able to listen to the podcast directly that week or, you know, whatever they can. Yeah. We give them just like a sneak peek. A you can say a little snippet of what they can expect yeah. within that episode of the podcast. You know, of course, Kamisha has her questions that she would ask and her input. And, you know, we just converse and have a good reason on the radio. You know, sometimes it's beyond the time in. Sometimes it's less, but for the most part, it's, you know, a, always a great reason. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what what else we've had done. We've had a few things. We've had a few collaborations that we've done on other podcasts mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, 90 Day Wins part. podcast. Yeah. We've been on oh, that. Oh, we had um, 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 Fuzzy Sandy and, and Sandy Fuzzy. Yes. Well. yes. That's what I'm telling yes. you. I know I'm missing. Yes. Yes. Sandy and Fuzzy from mm -hmm. 90 Day Win Podcast and LPI Radio. We thank you guys so much for all mm -hmm. of your support. You know, whenever we call and we say, hey, we need this to be done, they call and say, hey, they want us on their show. Mm -hmm. It's there and we just make it happen. Um, there are yeah, a man, couple Fuzzy out of Atlanta um, and definitely doing big things. Um, yeah. Sandy, I think she just released another book. I know you guys, if you've been watching the podcast throughout the two years, you know of me speaking of the 90 Day Win podcast mm -hmm. and um, the 90 Day Win, the 90 book, Day Ignite, go get, ignite, ignite go get the Go Getter Within. Go -getter within. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can make sure you check that out on Amazon. You can do your orders. Um, I think she has a new book out. I'm not sure of the title, but I think there's a new book out. So make sure you guys go on 90 Day Win podcast yes. and check out um, her information and what's going on and what's new. Um but we've had um, a few, a few radio, a few um, TV um, thing there. What was you call it? Features. Yeah. We were also featured in Caribbean um, podcast directory. Yeah. And that Which was for big month for me. Of February. Yeah. Because they're you know reaching a wider the audience whole, than exactly not just Jamaica. Yeah. It's you know? like the whole Caribbean. Once yeah. you're of Caribbean descent. Are you were born in the Caribbean, you are able to, you know, join in with them and they are able to promote, yes. you know, what it is. And, so you know, big up Caribbean podcast yes. directory. Yes, definitely. Big really up. They did a, um, a whole month yeah. on us. One whole month. Yes. Yeah, so shout out to y'all. We definitely appreciate the support. And um, the other podcast, Reggae Lovers Podcast. Reggae Lovers Podcast. We As were well. on that. Um, mm -hmm. Was it Yard Life? What is this Yard, podcast? Um, yeah. Uh, we were also on Select a Princess and Select Ja Prince. Princess, yes. Oh, I keep forgetting the names. I'm like drawing blank right now. I don't know why. Select but, a yeah. Princess, big up yourself. Select a Princess, DJ Ja Prince. Ja Prince. Yeah, mm -hmm. make sure. Um, yeah, check them out on IG. Um, 
who else? I feel like I'm missing somebody. <laughs> like my brain is just is not yard working life right now. Our yard style. Yard life. Yard life. On Instagram, he's yes. out of Texas. We were Texas. also featured mm-hmm. on his podcast. Yeah. Um. All good way. reasons. All good conversations. Yeah, with, man. With, with those podcasts. Yeah, man. So if you need to get in touch with them, make sure to get in touch and listen. Those podcasts are really, really good, and really give thanks for. You know, the letting trend. us be a part of your journey as well as you being a part of, of ours. Course, yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, we really appreciate it. Seeing. Um, and we're looking forward to to another 100 episode, you know, and, and beyond. You know, we, we, we recently launched, relaunched, rebranded our YouTube channel. So it's no longer just personalized to me. You know, it's now us. After a hundred episode, we're off a I beg, we're off a scratch, we're off a one with our bag of things. Our network is we now finally officially, <laughs> we found a nice name and we found a nice, you know, set up pictures, background, photos, everything. We just decided to rebrand and it came right in the perfect moment with yes. the hundred episode and thing. And now we are, you know, doing more. You know, we 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 releasing vlogs. The last vlog that we we released was about um, a bridging that came to Jamaica from the UK. He's actually Jamaican born, but he was living in the UK doing his music. He was he is a selector. He has traveled worldwide to play music with some of the greatest names that you can think of. And um, he's now back in Jamaica and setting up his farm. Seen so JNR big up yourself. Um, he has his farm in Alman Hill up in Rockall side, you know, St. Andrew, rural St. Andrew, St. Catherine area, borders. Um, and yeah, you know, we, we are branching out into different things. You know, we have you know, Nikita shoot videos as well, all of my visuals that I've been doing for the past. A year or two years, Brand or maybe even, even more. For you the know, past she has eight been years, doing them from we were on officially. the iPad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she has been doing them, you know. So we we've been growing and growing in terms of not just as a couple, but you know personally as well. You know, getting attaining different skill sets that will eventually help us to become even you know better and better at what we do mm-hmm. and um you know we're just looking forward to sharing our our our, our newfound talents Heck with yes. you guys you know what i mean so stay tuned for that we 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 she has already written a couple of episodes for the series that we want to do as well for the podcast and you might be seeing that later down in the year mm-hmm. um and yeah, look out for many more visuals from me, we more new music from one. me as well. We just released Sufferation Ends, When Sufferation Ends. Um, I hope you guys are liking that one. I see a few comments, a few of the regulars that actually comment on the YouTube, on the um, the podcast, are commenting also on the video. So, you know, everything is connecting. I see that you guys are, are keeping up with what we're doing. And we really appreciate it, you know what I mean? So make sure so to stay tuned and, and stay connected with us. Because there's so much more to come. I know you like the vlogs. I've seen the responses. <laughs> and we are going to continue to give you more content like that. You know, more, some, some different vibes and energy. And you it's know? not going to be like what we're trying to do. Like, we don't want to just keep it simple. Like, you know, what you will find anywhere else. Like, mm-hmm. we're trying to be creative. Mm-hmm. We're trying to give different content. That's, that's why we started with the... Selectors and farm, mm-hmm. selector and artists so that farms. Mm-hmm. You know where we're going to be speaking to selector and artists is that artists that have farms or that are farming. Yeah. Whether it's large or small, you know we're going to be discussing with them like you know what was the reason why they decided to do farming and you know other different information. Yeah. But we want to give you guys different content. We different just don't want to give the same. Yeah. You know the pranks and the. The regular things like stuff like even with our children we don't usually show our children our children yeah. are you and know, we still might not go and we too still deep might not that. go too deep with it where you're seeing them every single thing yeah. 
But you know, they'll pop in and out, you know, every now and then. It's like again. in the videos, the far is acting. Exactly, you know, like one of like our that. son, he mm-hmm. likes to do, um, he's the acting, he likes acting. So, you know, he's the type where we're just like, okay, he's at the age now where we're like, okay, you want to work? All right, let's work. Yeah. And he enjoys the acting. So we had him, you know, as the son playing in the When Separation End video. And he's also been in a few other videos of yes. yours. And other people. And others well. as well, other artists as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so it's just it's just a joy to see, you know, everyone, you know, just falling in place and yeah. things Everything just growing. come in full circle. And, you yeah. know, whether it's the podcast or... You know, the music from Amlak or Oh, also, we're relaunching Bag It this summer. Yes. So make sure you guys look out for that. Um, if you don't know, um, I am the owner and creator of a reusable shopping um, multi-purpose bag. So this bag could be used pretty much for any and everything to the beach, shopping, um, just going on the road, supermarket, to the market, Wherever it is that you want to do, whether traveling, you know, whether going on a spa day, day girls day out, whatever it is that you're trying to do, the bag is very, you know, multi-purpose, is very suitable, it's very fashionable at the same time where, you know, it could go with your outfit and still be cute and you still look fly and all that, you know what I mean? So this summer we'll be relaunching the brand. Um, we will be having different designs, different bag sizes as usual. But it'll be a whole different line. Everything will be different, revamped. So it just makes you guys look out for that. It makes you guys stay tuned with the IG page. Um, just bag it yes. one, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Just but I'll keep you posted. Yeah. But um, yeah. So we have a few things that we have going on. As you said, the series we're still trying to put together. So trying to get the script together and everything, just to make it perfect, make it enjoyable, make it fun, make it you know, entertaining and also a learning experience. For each thing, each episode that we're going to be bringing, um, we just have so many things planned. So we're just trying to get everything done within its timing, and everything will be presented to you in the right timing. So Definitely. we're not going to rush anything. You know, we're not going to say, "All right, we have to get it out by such and such time." Like whenever is the right time, and we feel like it's ready. That's when it's going to be released. So Most definitely, just give us some time. Whether it's music, whether it's videos, whether it's vlogs, whether it's you know, the series, whether it's the episodes, because sometimes we do release them a little bit late, like this one might reach y'all late. Yeah. But, you know, it's reaching. It's never too late. <laughs> yeah, better late than never. Yeah. Um, we're not trying to make it a habit as well, but, you know, it happens and, you know, just give us some time. We do have children and we have other things outside that we have to maintain. You know, we have a farm now yeah. that we are. And we're going to be showing you more of that, you know. We're in farmers, due time. y'all. In due time, <laughs> in due time, we're gonna be showing more of that. You know what I mean? So yeah. make sure to stay tuned for that. Most definitely, it, it's gonna be exciting because we're gonna be doing things outside of our comfort zone. Yes. You know what I mean? You know, we are Especially city people. We were born in the city. In the city, like so we, we don't know, know the country, the farming. Farm. So I learned. We are learned from the go yeah. right now. So you know, just stay tuned and enjoy the, the content. Yes, the nails finna get dirty. Well, it's not gonna get dirty because I have gardening gloves, mm. so we'll be straight. But <laughs> um, I just want to thank everyone, wherever you guys are in the world. Um, yes, we have listeners all over, from Russia. But I believe it. To Czech Republic, Mexico, um, where else? South Africa, Nigeria, where else? United States, Canada, South America, Brazil. You know, like we have audience members all over the world. Germany, we just want to thank you guys. Even places that don't even speak a lick of English. Yeah, but they're uh, But they're listening. Yeah, for sure. You know, sure. they're coming in and they're tuning in and they're getting their translators to be able to translate and let them understand what it is that we're saying. And we appreciate you guys so much. All of our listeners in South Amer- South Africa, like, listen, we, fin- we about to be over there real quick, fast, soon. You know I mean, we're going to drop in and pop in real quick. But um, thank you guys so much for all of your support. We appreciate you guys so much. It's been a hell of a ride thus far. And it's only been two years. And I see this podcast going for many, many more years, many, many more episodes. Most definitely. Um, us reaching many more households. 
you know, more conversations being, you know, brought up, more topics being discussed, more, you know what I'm saying, more buttons being pushed, more, you know what I'm saying, just push the edge a little. Yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying, just do more, just be more productive within our community, be productive within our household, you know, just because everything starts within us, everything starts within the household, build better citizens, build better people, we raise better children, and that would be more productive for our society. So we just have to continue to do that and continue to push that. Oh, you know who I'm forgetting? Kwesi. Yeah, Kwesi. Bansu. Bansu, yes. 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 That's why I'm like, I know we're forgetting yes. a few people. Like, we've yes. had more than 10 or 15 guests. Yeah. So it's a little bit, you know, to keep everything. And yeah. I don't have the laptop up right now to get a rundown yeah. of everything. But, you know, we've had so many guests and they've all been and so... And Chris is doing big things over there in Ghana right now. In Ghana right now, right now yes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Rastafari shout out to him creatives. and his family, yeah. the Rastafari creative family over there um, in Ghana right now that's doing big things. His yes. wife and children that are also a part of the works, you know what I'm saying? It's always important for you to, no matter what it is that you're doing, as long as it's a learning experience and it's always important for you to bring your family along. And a man that travels with his family is a man that got sense, you Definitely. know what I'm saying? So just continue to continue to keep your family close continue to build and continue to do great things and we thank you guys so much for joining us yes we thank you guys so much for all of the support that we've received throughout the two years and that we will continue to receive (laughs) um all of the new supporters all the new audience members that we will gain we thank you guys so much we appreciate every single one of you every single episode that you tune into every single press every single record every single subscription every single you know notification bell that was hit like we thank all of you guys so much wherever you are in this world and you know we just big up on the self yeah, big man. up on the self straight because if it wasn't for y'all maybe we would have you know what i'm saying we would we'd still be together don't get that wrong but we probably wouldn't continue to record if we weren't feeling that warmth and that love and that yeah. reception that you guys gave and that you guys are still giving. And we just thank you guys so much for the support. We thank you guys so much for your time that you spend with us because you could be doing anything. You could be watching anything on YouTube because it is so much so content. Much content on YouTube. It's so much things on YouTube that Definitely. you can be watching. And for the fact and that listening. you take your time out, exactly, and listening, for the fact that you take your time out to join us each and every Wednesday or whenever it is that you do view the podcast, whether it's on time or later on. We just thank you guys so much for all of your support. We hope to continue to bring you guys great content, great discussions, and we just hope to, you know, be a staple within your household and be a part of your family, be a part of you, you know, your your units, your peers, you know. And we just thank you guys so much for joining us again on our 100th episode. Yes. Let me say that again. We thank you guys so much for joining us again on our 100th episode. You got to show them the cake, baby. 100. Just Um, tilt it a little bit. You know what? It's not going to... Just show a little bit. We didn't do nothing fancy. It's just a little simple. Maybe we could show this camera. 100. Yes. So we just thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your viewership. And we just want to say what good people continue to do. Good, be good. Love yourselves. Love your family. And just, you know, do right. Do the right. Do the right. Do the right thing. (laughs) Give thanks. 100. 100. Many more. Yes. Salute.